good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev back again. First listen, Plazank. Today, man, we are going to take a listen to another new track from Brock Hampton. Now, last time we listened to them, man, they had that 1999 wildfire. It gave me that Andre 3000 vibe. I definitely felt like their production was crisper than usual. I felt like they were just more aggressive when it came to the saturation projects, but listening to that 1999 wildfire, I uh, definitely felt like it was mostly production. It felt like they were kind of just being, you know, just mellow, just chill, had soft tones in there. I definitely loved the approach they were going in, as was um, putting in the singer at the end. I still don't remember his name, but how they did that too i think that's something that they can definitely do on a lot of tracks going forward um without a mirror um look this, this the last track was called 1999 wildfire this one is called 1998 truman i never watched the truman movie i think that was what jim carrey right i have never watched it i think jim carrey was in the, it was the truman show or the truman something uh look don't quote me i know that's a long time ago jim carrey is definitely before my time but yeah man i'm definitely here for brock hampton man i wish them future success and whatever they do so uh like always man been fucking talking too much uh let's get right into this we got brock hampton 1998 truman y'all ready well you may know you're not free with your kid like all right, time out, time out. Before we even start this video, who told these niggas they can get rid of Roberto, huh? Where is Roberto? Where, where is Roberto? All right, you can get rid of Amir. We understand. Where the fuck is Roberto, bro? I keep saying Roberto. Roberto. Come on, man. We, we don't need this guy. This guy over there speaking Czech, uh, you know, Prague, whatever, you know, uh, Russian, whatever. You, whatever he's speaking. We want Jamaica, Yamo, Roberto. your bets this young man won't ever be shit well that's a long ass line that i'm not in i just never found the time or had the chance truth this you can kiss my ass never been the one to play hey, joke out. never been the one to air out any situation for right now when it's all your fault i'm here now give me no bad clothes give me no jobs let me some love tonight when i'm in this club all right merlin no don't talk bad don't talk bad I don't know, man. You know what? Let, let me just finish track. Let me just finish track. This should not make me magicians and hit my hoopie. Why they so sorry, Nick Winnie? I murdered this music for Tilly. I know what you see me. No singing, searching the meaning. I think that's why you didn't believe in the future is leaving. Revolution started streaming. Don't talk back, boy. Don't talk back. Don't talk back, boy. All right, so that's the second time they've done that before. Okay, that's the second time they've done that in these 1990 tracks. All right, my opinions on the track. 1998 Truman. Um, if we're comparing it to 1999 Wildfire, obviously Wildfire is the better track all around. You know, two things I want to get at here, man. Um, like I said, I don't mind. When, look, look, I'm the one that said, I promoted, I said they, they should do that. Um, you know, implement that the singing guy at the end a lot more, even some point within the song or even on the hooks. Now, this is twice they did it. Um, at the end of the track, you know, switching up the flow of the uh, of the track, and you know, it's going in a different direction where it was all high pitch and all all this energy, and then kind of slow it down into this mellow, sad shit. You know, it kind of gets you in your feelings. You know, I don't know, I still don't know the singer's name. Put in the comment box below. I apologize. You know, my no disrespect. I just don't know your name like that. Um, if you do it a third time, I think it's gonna get repetitive. I don't mind on these two tracks right here though. These are probably your front runners for the album. Uh, I definitely love them. Like they two, they two different tracks. But uh, two bangers in their own way. Now, I think that they are going in a different direction with this album. It sounds like I said earlier in the video. It sounds like the the production is more crisp. It sounds like they they are putting a lot of effort now into the production. It sounds like they're getting a lot of different sounds. Um, you know, a lot of different samples are just going in a lot of different directions. And it's doing great for them. Now I just feel like when it comes to the rapping, they got Joba rapping now and. 
you know, um, Dom is obviously doing his thing. He's probably like the best. I say what lyrically in the thing. Even though I said Amir, I said I said Amir was a total package in the in the group. He was the best lyricist. He was the best. He he flowed. Everybody called it boring, but it also gave that flavor to the to the um to the tracks. I feel like there's just no flavor other than like Merlin. There's just really no flavor to the track. You know, no one brings. It's just like I don't know. It's missing something. Um, the videos are always crazy. I definitely love what they do with the visuals, man. You know what I'm saying? They always tell a story with their music videos. Um, you know, like I said, there's different band members, so you're getting diversity through that. Did I say band members? They really got me thinking they band, bro. <laughs> like, but they really, um, you know, I like what they did right there, man. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's just different. You know, them being their own person, each of them having their own persona, it brings diversity to um, the group and to, and to the tracks. And you, you can hear it. But I just, it just feels like they're missing that flavor. And I know um, we all got to move past that Amir thing. And you know what's crazy? Uh, a lot of, somebody wrote on 1999 Wildfire that uh, using the contributions to the track. That's something to look for. I always said, even though he's out of the group, I always say he's on the low low. You know what I'm saying? If they were real friends like that, he's definitely still around. He's definitely still helping with the music. He's definitely still writing. He's still contributing to Brockhampton. Don't think he's just out of the flow, out of, out of, just don't think he's out of the picture because that's nonsense, especially if they um, formed a bond for so long. He's still there. He's just not in the light of the media. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep, got to keep a mirror away from the media because, you know, a lot of people in this world are sensitive nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the people caring about some shit that they really don't care about. At the end of the day, it really doesn't affect their lives if Amir is rapping on Brockhampton or not. You know, they just want to be that that person like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm mad, I'm fake mad, yeah. Anyways, a uh, very cool track. It, it's kind of weird when it when you when you first hear it, Joba did his thing, like I said, Dom did his thing, Merlin is just there screaming. Uh, and I, like I said, I like the way they switched at the end. Definitely not, it's not as pleasing as 1999 Wildfire. 1999 Wildfire was on some different shit. They are smart to release that one first. But uh, look, the second track they released since the whole um, incident, and I think they're in the right, they're in the right track, man. The production is a strong point so far, and I'm loving that. Y'all know I'm a beats dude. Beats don't mean shit. Beats don't mean shit. Y'all, y'all know that one guy who said beats don't mean shit. But um, I just feel like they need to find that missing component. I feel like I can't be the only one that feels that way. So get in the comment box below. Let me know what y'all think about it. Um, let me know who is y'all favorite now in Brockhampton. Uh, for all the people that love Demir as myself, who is now your favorite in Brockhampton? I would have to go with probably uh, Kevin Abstract. I think I think I like Kevin on the hooks. He don't really um, rap too much, but I definitely love it. I love his hooks. Also, can we start a petition to get rid of that one dude? No disrespect to you, man. I just I just want me some Roberto, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I like Roberto. I like what he did at the beginning. It got me hyped for the tracks. You know, he always did his thing. You you know, I'm not really feeling you, guy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, we gonna keep it like that. Till the next time, don't forget, follow me on social media. Let me know what you wanna hear. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I'm almost to 10K for the swipe down feature. I think I need, like, what? I think I need 150 more followers on um, on Instagram for the swipe down feature for 10K. So please follow me on social medias. Let me know what y'all want to hear. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading constantly. I've been working. And um, yeah, man, I'm going to try my hardest. I still need to grind. I'm trying to make it to 200K. So with that being said, like always, been fucking talking too much. Till the next time, we are out.